So what can you do to further the kingdom of God? Okay? What gifts has God given you that you know that you can use for his kingdom? Now, we may ask, what does he mean by this? Okay? So, are you a carpenter? Yep. What can you do around the church to make it better? You know, I have a project in the back. And first thing I stated in church, I don't want to have to pay everybody to work. And guess what's happened? I've had to pay everybody to work. I don't want to continue doing this. I don't want to have to continue to pay people to do stuff that's, there's no there's no money coming out of this for me. As a matter of fact, it's cost me. Not our church, but cost me. Why? Because I believe in helping children, okay? If I believe in helping children and helping these kids that are less fortunate, shouldn't our church get behind this and help me? I mean, I'm not asking to make any money off of this. It's not personal gain for me. So we should come together as a body of Christ to work together because this is not for me. It's for the children. We're trying to help other people. And we need to come together as a body of Christ and help one another. Guys, you say you're king, you're about God's business. We say we want to do what God wants us to do. We want to live a life that's pleasing to him. We want to seek ye first the kingdom. We want to get closer to God. But do you really? Do you really want to get closer to God? You know, I've heard this thing. You say, wake up, America. Well, this is where I'm at tonight. Wake up, God's church. Because right now, we are falling in a temptation time when times are getting rough. And we have got to stick together and we've got to stick with Christ. In the Bible, I'm telling you, the seven churches of Revelations, which I'm briefly going to be preaching on it this Sunday. Which one of the seven churches do you fall in? What state are you in? Have you fully surrendered to Jesus Christ? Are you fully surrendered? Because if you look at the purpose of the disciples, what did they do? When we talked about Ananias and his wife, you know, and, and we talk about that in that situation, God wants a full surrender. He doesn't want a partial surrender. He wants a full surrender. He wants all of you. Husband and wives, he wants all of you. Children, he wants all of us. He wants every part of our life. He wants us to live for him. My purpose on this earth now is not for Central Florida auction. It's not. It's not to make a billion dollars. My purpose on this earth is about my father's business. That's what it's about. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's what it's about. It's about furthering the kingdom of God. It's about people wanting to volunteer. Hey, pastor, saying, you know, hey, we want to go out and, and, and visit people. Okay, let's do it. Hey, Pastor Shane, we want to do an outreach program. Okay, let's do it. Hey, Pastor Shane, can you put me over this part? Because, hey, I want to do this. I feel called to do this. Absolutely, let's do it. Be Christ-minded. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Once again, like I said a few minutes ago tonight, I want y'all guys to open up your Bibles. I want you to open up your cellular devices. And I want y'all guys to study. Study on what Christ wants from us. What does Christ want from us? And then I want you to figure out what gifts, spiritually and physically, God has given you. That you can use for the kingdom of God. What can you do with your gift? To help build this church up. What is your calling? Your calling is not my calling. We can't all be auctioneers. Okay? We can't all be pastors. But we can all spread the word of God. Amen? We can't. I mean, I'll tell you right now. I am not a carpenter. I'm not. I'm not great at leveling ground either. Brother Donnie, you got that one down, Pat. I'm just not good at it. That's not my gift. I'm not good at it. But in everything we do, guys, we glorify our Heavenly Father. So you ask yourself tonight, what can I do to further the kingdom of God? What can I do 
in this house right here, in this church that God obviously has brought you to. It's not about what can my church do for me. It's what I can do for this church. What can I do to further the kingdom of God? This church is God's. We are God's. We belong to him. We're he, we literally, when we surrendered all, we became property of Jesus Christ. We become a part of the same body. And the same body needs to work together. So guys, I just want to pray, guys, that right now, y'all guys have amazing service. And the discussion's good. And I come back and I hear all about it, okay? Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father God, I want to thank you, Lord, that we had the opportunity to come here tonight together. Father God, even though I may not be here physically, I'm here spiritually. Father God, we just want to pray right now, Father God, that you'll have your way in this service, Father God. And that every single person here will find out what God has called them to do for the kingdom of God. We ask this in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen.